Hello students of class 8 and welcome back to your English class. Let us wrap up the chapter adjectives today. Let this be our last session on this chapter. So to recapitulate the last exercise we have done is exercise L. Right, we were learning the difference between the usage of the words father and further. And then elder and older, eldest and oldest. Right, so today let us come to exercise M where we would be learning the difference between nearest and next. I'm sure all of you already know about it. Well, nearest, this word we use for referring to distance. But next we use for reference to, uh, referencing to the sequence of things or the position of something. Okay, the next in sequence of something. Okay, so let us solve the first exercise which is under this. That is exercise M. So, and take out your page number 90. So, for distance or the shortest distance away, we are going to use the word nearest. And for a sequence of things, it can be any things which is placed one after the other. Then we are going to use the word next. Okay, so let us fill up the blanks M. Do it in your book. Okay, the first one is the dash market from this place is the local vegetable market. Now, um, this will be nearest. Number two, the flower shop is dashed to my house. Here, it is just placed right after my house. So, it will be next. Next to my house means it's just beside my house. Okay, so it will be next. Number three, I go to the dash fruit market to buy fruits. Now, for a different context, you can write next. That means if you say, suppose the context being you are in a certain fruit market with your friend or a relation. Okay, suppose you are shopping there with your friend and you are telling your friend that I don't go to this fruit market, but I go to the next fruit market. You can write that. But the common answer will be nearest. Okay. So write nearest. So as I say, all these sentences depend on the context. Number four, Gia's house is next to the post office. Number five, the next train will arrive at six in the evening. So it will also be next. Okay. Now, let us come to the next exercise, which is there. Okay. Here, exercise N, you will have to use the formation as, as to change the sentences which are given. Let us solve some together and the rest you can do on your own. So, take out exercise N. We have to use the as, as formation, okay? This formation we have to use, okay? Okay, exercise N. Tomatoes and onions are costly. Tomatoes and onions are costly. So, the answer will be, uh, if you want, you can write it in the book, copy right now or you can later copy it in your copy. Scribble it in your book. Okay. The answer will be, tomatoes are as costly as onions. Okay. So, Now, for this sentence, another meaning also you can derive. You might ask me, does this sentence mean that tomatoes are exactly as much priced as onions are? Well, it does not. Uh, it seems that way. But this is the way we are going to change the sentences. Okay. Here, what they want to mean is that tomatoes are also costly as well as onions are also costly. Not the same price. Number two is Ritu and Rima are short. Ritu and Rima are short. Ritu is 
as short as Rima. Here the, it means just that as Ritu is also short, Rima is also short. Okay, both of them are short in height. Okay. Number 3, 4 and 5 will be homework. 3, 4 and 5. Okay. Come to the next exercise that is exercise N. Exercise, no, N we have done. Let us come to exercise O. Rewrite the sentences using not as and then less. So you have to do it twice. Okay. All the sentences you will have to write twice in your copy. Just understand how we are going to function it, how we are going to form the sentences. Then you can do it very easily. So it was as as combination. Come to the next combination that is not, not as and less using the combination less. Okay, both the way you have to write. But remember, you cannot change the meaning of the sentence which is given. Okay, so number O, number one is platinum is costlier than gold. Platinum is costlier than gold. So you will have to write gold is not as costly as platinum. Okay, not as costly as platinum. If you want, you can add an is after this, but it's not required. Okay, the second formation of the same sentence is using less. So, let us write it in this way. One, number one. One, number two. Okay, number two combination is you will have to use the word less. So, it will become gold is less costly than platinum. Okay. So this is the way we are going to change the sentences. Gold is less costly. Uh, okay. Here they have all used the comparative tense. So it will be costlier. Fine. Less costlier than platinum. So, this is the one form and this is another form. Not as costly as and less costlier than. Okay. This two combination we will have to write. So, for each of the sentences you will have to write these two combinations. Number one I hope all of you have copied. Come to number two. Number two sentence is my uncle is taller than my father. So the same pattern we will follow. The same pattern we will follow. My uncle is taller than my father. So it will be my father is not as tall as my uncle. My father is not as Tall as my uncle. And number two will be my father is less, less taller than my uncle. Okay. Number 3, 4 and 5, you will attempt on your own. Attempt on your own, it will be homework. Okay, write both the forms. Now come to exercise P. Here you have to rewrite the sentences using least without changing the meaning. Okay.
Okay, you will have to use the word least. That means you just have to use the opposite word which is given. So to me, the first sentence given is Wolfram is one of the rarest minerals. So what is the opposite of the word rare? It is common, right? So you just have to write Wolfram is one of the least common of all minerals. Okay, the next one is to me, the Indian gooseberry is the sourest of all fruits. Okay, the Indian gooseberry. So, it will be, to me, what is the opposite of the taste of sour? Not exactly opposite, but you can say sweet. Okay, so let us write. To me, the Indian gooseberry is the least sweet of, sweetest of all fruits. Okay, sourest is given. So, it will be least sweet of all fruits. Okay, least sweet of all fruits. Let us do it. So, you have to use the combination least. Okay. Number P. 2. Uh, to me, the Indian gooseberry... least sweet of all fruits. Okay. So, in this way we will solve the other. Let us discuss the other answers. You can understand it and you can write it on your own. Okay. Number P. Question number 3 is this is the most useless of all my suitcases. So, what is the diff uh, opposite of useless? Useful, right? So, you will write this is the least useful of all my suitcases. Number four is he occupied the most comfortable position to watch the match. So, uh, the opposite of comfortable is uncomfortable or awkward. Okay, so you can use either of the words. So, you can write, he occupied the least uncomfortable position to watch the match. Okay. Number 4. So, P is done. Come to question number Q. Exercise Q. Change the following from superlative to comparative without changing the meaning. This is something we have been doing from a very junior class, right? Uh, Mukesh Ambani is the richest businessman in India. So, Mukesh Ambani is the richest businessman in India. You will have to change it into comparative degree without changing the meaning. So, Mukesh Ambani is better than all other businessmen in India. You can write that or you can write Mukesh Ambani is better, uh, sorry, not better, richer, is richer than all businessmen in India or Mukesh Ambani is richer than most businessmen in India. Okay. You don't have to write most. Let us just write all. That's better. That's better to write all because it is given he's the richest businessman. Let us try to solve it. Exercise Q. Number one, Mukesh Ambani is richer than all other businessmen in India. Another combination also is possible. So if you write something else, let me know. In this manner, you will have to solve all. Uh, he is the tallest of all the students in his class. He is taller than all the students in his class. Okay. Mount Everest is the highest. Okay, the rest you can try to solve it on your own. Exercise R and exercise S. Uh, let us leave exercise R since we have already done something like this. Uh, you can do it on your own. You can practice it. So, Q, R and S, complete them all. 
I will try to provide you the answers also in the e-portal. Let us wrap up the chapter adjectives in this session today. So exercise Q, I already showed you one example. Exercise R and S also. As I upload the assignment of this chapter, I will be writing a few of the answers from these exercises. But you attempt it on your own. Okay. So study this chapter very well. Next day we, be we can begin a new chapter in grammar. Okay. Thank you.